Welcome to your five minute podcast with Evelyn. Thank you very much for joining in in today's five minute podcast. So today, sitting on the fence, sitting, looking in on someone else living your dream (laughs) happens for so many people. The resentment that uh, comes up in a person or sometimes we feel, am I jealous or am I just getting angry with myself? You know, if there's something that you know that you want to do in your life, I bet you any money you're seeing a lot of other people doing it, which in turn results in you becoming more resentful, perhaps to other people or in yourself, so annoyed with yourself. You could be sitting watching someone else doing what it is that you would love to do and you know that you are more than capable and able of doing it yourself and equally as good as or if not better than someone else is doing it but yet and all we stop ourselves every time i guarantee you've been given so many opportunities invitations help and uh, we will find a way of saying no every time So I often wonder, is it, uh, when people say it's procrastination, I keep putting blocks in front of myself, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't know where to begin, I don't know where to start. So is it that that we put up, is it the procrastinating, is it the repetitive belief that we say to ourselves, why do I keep doing this to myself over and over When there's greatness there, when my greatness has an opportunity to come out, when there's a chance that I could fulfill this dream that has been within me, but I sit on the fence and I sit and I watch everybody else live my dream. Or do you believe that perhaps, what if you were successful? What if you actually enjoyed what it is that you got to do? What if that dream that you've had for a long time, that it could be yours. Is it a fear of this actually might happen? <laughs> what then? What will happen if my actual dream became a reality and have no more dreams left? Are we afraid of being successful? Are we afraid of being joyous? Are we afraid of being happy? Or do we make up the other fears? Afraid of what everybody else would say about us? I know so many people uh, that sit back and watch other people live their dreams. And they know in themselves that they are more than able, they are more than capable, that they can fulfill their dreams and their wishes. But they take very little action in doing it. They have everything that they require. And there is assistance, there is help, there's everything there to make it their dream. But we make... Sometimes what happens is we take a big burst of action, big burst of motivation. We'll see something up on social media and think, I needed to see that today. So we have that short fix of motivation. It only lasts for a certain amount of time. And then we let ourselves down every time. We'll find a reason. I, you know, we find reasons and they seem pretty acceptable to us. Why not to do something? We keep putting off, putting off, putting off, putting off because we're full of fear. The underlying belief is I'm not good enough. Who am I? Imagine, who am I to live a life that I would love? Who am I to be so happy at what I do? Who am I to be so proud of my achievements? Who am I to go out and help other people? And who are you not? Who are you not? But at the end of the day, the only person that can change anything is you. Instead of sitting back, sitting on the fence, sitting looking in and other people's lives, what they're achieving, what you're not achieving, being more annoyed with yourself, dropping your vibration even more, going back to the old habits, going back to the old ways, finding reason after reason after reason. Maybe it's time to change that. Maybe it's time to think, you know what, I'm going to do one thing. One thing. I don't need to see how the whole end goal will be complete. I'm going to leave that with you guys. Thank you so much for joining in in the 5-Minute Podcast today. Jump off the fence.
and live your dreams.